showing the printer. And there's, I dug it out of the garbage, so there's garbage in it, which is pretty gross, but let's get on to the drawing this thing. Because I can only find one picture of it on the internet, so yeah. And I looked at everything I could think of that was related to the model of this printer. So, here we go. Let's start by smashing this because I can never get it open. Jeez, it's so garbage water is flying everywhere. Gross. Smash, 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 God! Alright, you guys. I'm already annoyed with this thing. Alright, this thing doesn't break. But today, we're going to extreme measures to make sure this thing will finally. Oh my god. Because I'm tired of no breaking. Oh, yay. This broke. That's a good sign. It's all hot and wet from being in the garbage can for a few days. Because I was like, should I make a part two? I mean, I did destroy it as much as I could have, so. And I'll make a part two. Alright, so I'm gonna go get some more tools to make to go to extreme measures to smash this thing. I'll be right the apple stand. Now you now you may be like, oh that's not an apple pro stand, is it? Well what kind of apple stand is this? I just want to let you guys know that this is actually a apple stand uh, a stand for the Apple 2C monitor, 1984. They actually have an Apple 2C monitor, and it does work. And they also had a 2C Plus, but I sold it. How could I be so stupid? Now I just have a monitor that sits around collecting dust. But the real question is, can this monitor smash that printer? Let's find out. Printer here. Let's smash it with the stand. This is weird. Oh, that is really scratching up my stand. I probably shouldn't do that. Well, who cares? Bam! 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 Die! Die! Oh, I made a dent. Alright. How many go crazy with the hammer? Alright, this is going to be loud. Things are flying. And as you guys can see, that broke off. Wow, look at how thick that plastic is. Impressive. Whoa, I almost hit that giant capacitor. Even though this thing hasn't been turned on in 30 years. Oh, there's dust everywhere. I should probably wait till this dust clears up. Now, just keep. Oh, I want to take this chip out though. I like taking chips out. <laughs> eh. That doesn't look like it's soldered in there, but apparently it is. Okay, I'll be right back. So, yeah. So I just broke the back half of this printer. Let's do that again. That was fun. Okay, guys. More printer smashing. This time in the front. No, on the side. Oh, yay, this came out. Let's see what's, what it looks like on this. Ooh, I think there's a circuit board. I like smashing circuit boards. If you smash the board that prints things, man, I'm gonna run on the wall. scratching up my hammer. Look at all those scratches. And it's just a hammer. I can buy a new hammer if I need to. The hammer's in pretty good shape though, so. Bam, bam, bam. Die. Alright. Ooh, yay. Things are coming apart. Really weird 
bug and I might Oh, I hit the capacitor. That's not good. Hopefully that doesn't burn, even though it's hasn't been turned on in 20 years, as I mentioned. Sir, so probably. This, this was used for a 2C I know. So last so it was began use in 1984 and probably became incompatible around 1990. We got his computers really better. 1990, people were buying all the newer computers, and there was no room for things. All right, let's keep up the destruction. I'm on a roll today. Yeah, I'm gonna time lapse the destruction. You're looking a little rough. Yeah, I didn't get that one out of it. Alright, so now we're gonna plug it in. So let's plug this in. Plug that cable into that. And then this into over there. Mm, okay. Noises. It's coming from that thing. Ooh, ah. I should probably unplug that. Eh. Eh, eh. All right, all right, fine. All right, let's not do that again. And here we go. More instructions. I use these foam blocks to prop up my camera so it wouldn't stay propped up. In case you're wondering. Jeez, is there anything more I can do to this printer? Well, yeah, I can destroy these motherboard things. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna give this to a tech collector. Maybe he'll be able to restore it. A restorer and collector person should be able to restore this printer. I mean, it's not in that bad of shape. It totally doesn't have Sharpie scribbles, cracked motherboards, um, the inside is totally trashed, broken things here and there and everywhere. And let's take this off. Oh, it's getting so dusty in here that my eyes hurt. Alright. I don't want to open the door in here. It's getting all dusty. Nah, who cares? Die. Die, 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 die. So let's try and pull this round thing off. Smash it. That's what I meant. I meant smash it off. Alright, so this printer is looking really bad. If only it would get bad enough. Sorry. Yeah, it's not bad enough. Ow. Let's look at the printer. Wow, that's really bad damage. Mm, yeah, I don't think it works. I'm going to plug it in an old computer to make sure it doesn't work. 
but I threw away some of the pieces that I needed in the last video that I smashed. And that probably doesn't work, and that capacitor is probably going to blow up if I plug it in. In fact, I'm going to blow up right now. I should probably have a fire extinguisher on standby, but I don't. So, who cares? I'm surfing. And it's on a printer and not an actual surfboard. What about this? Alright, this, this video is probably getting kind of lengthy, so let's end with some destruction. So, let's, like, prop this up. Using these foam blocks. I don't want to be using foam blocks if I am. Alright, propped up. Now, let's hit it with the cord. I don't know why I'm doing strange things. I just. One last attempt to pull that stupid chip out. It looks like it's in a socket and not soldered down or anything. Oh, the board just is loose. I was just going to say it just came out, but it didn't. I got the chip out. I got the chip out. Yay. I'm actually going to sell that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Is there any, any other chips? Ah, back to the destruction. So dusty. Probably a little dust coming out of this printer. <coughs> so much dust. Alright, this is getting boring. I'm king of the printer. That was weird. Ow. Put my leg on this, and I think cut my leg. But that's okay. Because that's what happens when you're a tech destruction YouTuber. Here. If anybody has any idea what this chip is, please tell me in the comments below. I'd really enjoy that. I might give you a special prize if you tell me. Expensive Destroyers merch. I might give you an Expensive Destroyers t-shirt. Well, we're not selling merch yet, but we're getting merch made for us. So, I could be happy to make you a shirt. If you told me what this chip means, the number on it is... 3MDEV101DC64011. And it says made in Japan MBM272560819 W54. That's all the numbers on the chip, and it's not, wasn't sired into the board. Okay. Anyway, back to the destruction. See if I can destroy that motor in there. Yeah, this video is probably getting kind of lengthy. I should probably end it soon. Yeah, I should probably end this video soon. And yeah, I think this video got enough. It was long enough, so thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And It'd be really nice if somebody could tell me what the heck this cheap means in the comments. Once again, there's the numbers, and there's that. So, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.